Hi everyone, uh, and welcome to the Touchpad Droid blog. This is tutorial 3, which is overclocking. Um, in front of me, I've got the HP Touchpad, um, which you probably have in front of you as well, otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Now, a few people have asked me to make a bit of a tutorial on how to overclock the touchpad. Um, basically what overclocking does, if you haven't read the section above, is uh, makes the brain of your device think quicker. Um, so basically you'll notice things, just simple things like going through the application uh, viewer a little bit quicker. Uh, now this at the moment isn't overclocked, um, but I will be showing you how to do that in a second. So, uh, first things first, if you haven't read the bit above, um, please do because you will have to have completed tutorials 1 and 2 for this to work successfully. Um, so that involves basically uh, activating developer mode and installing the Preware app. Um, and also please read the warning as well as, uh, you know, this is fairly risky um, and potentially you could completely stuff up your device and uh, I wouldn't want you doing that without knowing that there is a chance that that could happen. Uh, Alright, so uh, once you've read all that, we'll go on to the next bit. So what you got to do, just go to your Preware app. Uh, it's a bit difficult to see on this, but uh, just you probably know where it is. Tap on the Preware app. Wait for that to load. Uh, the other thing was you've got to be in an active Wi-Fi zone for this to work, um, as it has to download the new kernel off the internet. So if you haven't got Wi-Fi, uh, stop the video, go get your Wi-Fi working and start it again. Um, Alright, so once you're in the Preware app, um, basically it's as simple as going to Available Packages, to Kernel, and the one you want is Stable, and the kernel that we're going to be installing is called Uber Kernel. Uh, in brackets touchpad. So basically I've already installed this but on yours uh, just tap on that um, and at the bottom instead of remove you'll have install. So just tap on install. Um, make sure before you start that that you have enough battery life you can check at the top by tapping there and it'll tell you like mine says 86% um, Preferably over 50% would be good in case anything stuffs up, so just keep that in mind. Now, once that's installed, what you have to do, and probably the easiest way to do it, uh, well, once it's installed, basically, uh, you'll know because when you go to the application home or the launcher, um, you will have Uber Kernel Touchpad on the list. Uh, so go back, well, once you've done that, go back to your Preware app. Uh, and at the top here, there's a little uh, magnifying glass for search. And type in your keyboard gov. Probably just type gov. The, the application we're looking for is called governor. If you type gov, it should come up. Yeah, it's the only one that comes up. Um, again, I've already installed this, but you'll need to install that. So, same thing, tap on it. And down the bottom, there'll be install. So, press on install. Uh, once that's done, you can close your uh, Preware app. And probably at this point, it wouldn't be a bad idea to do a reboot. Um, I won't do that right now, but you can do that when you go ahead to do it. Um, once you've rebooted again, go back to the launcher, tap on the new governor icon. Uh, 
once that's opened, now you can probably see here I've got palm default as my profile up the top there. What we want to do is basically tap on the profile and uh, what you want to do, what I've, what I've actually done is I've made a new profile called performance but the one that's there is called on demand TCL1512. Um, I'd probably recommend that you tap on that or select that one um, because it's the, basically the uh, best overall performance um, and battery saving profile that there is. So uh, if you do want to make new profiles you can go to advanced settings, change your clock speeds and then save it as a new profile. Uh, but I can make a video on that later if people enough people want that um, shown to them. Um, basically what you'll notice then is when you're doing uh, multiple things, opening up multiple applications, minus Facebook which is quite slow actually, regardless of what clock speed you're at. Uh, well that ran alright then. Uh, we can open the calendar. Open up the web browser. Just open up everything you can. And you'll notice that still runs as good as when nothing's open. And if you do run games, um, you may notice that the games will run a little bit faster as well, such as Angry Birds. So hopefully this video has helped you out a bit. That's a bit annoying. Um, hopefully this video has helped you out a bit. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment uh, on this post. Um, also, uh, if you have any other questions about other things that you'd like later on, um, please feel free to comment on any of the posts that I've got on the blog. Um, just so you know, uh, I will be uh, bringing out a tutorial later on um, about how to get Android onto the device, but uh, as we're waiting for the developers to be able to do that, um, I can't really make that yet, because I don't know how yet. But once I do, I'll make a video and, um, and show you all how to do it. So, thank you for watching.